Have you heard of Jennifer Aniston? Or Mama Cass? Or what's his name? What's that guy's name? The Lizard King. His name escapes me right now. No, it doesn't. It never does because he's one of my favorites. Jim Morrison. Look where I am. Look. This place has so much history. Now, my friend Tommy is the owner. I've known Tommy for a few years now. And I always stop by to say hello. And always greets me warmly. If you are in Los Angeles or visiting, come to the uh, country store here on Lowell Canyon. Ask for Tommy. You can't miss him. He's quite a character and he's so sweet he'll talk to you and tell you the history of the place but right now i'll tell you the history of the place how's that or you, wait a minute you know what why don't why don't i do this why don't i go inside show you around and then have tommy himself take us on a little tour downstairs where nobody gets to go nobody but i'm gonna go I'm going to show you where Mama Cass's secret room was. Downstairs in the Laurel Canyon Country Store. Ready to go in? Let's go in. And remember... Here we are inside the Laurel Canyon County Store. You can get everything here and they're a full deli. And it's a good deli. Frozen foods, drinks, you know, it's a store. You see what I'm saying? We're gonna get something really cool. And for a small store, it's big. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot packed in. Look at this place. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. And for the lush in your family, you are set. Here's some old pictures, look at that. It's all a bunch of people in front of the uh, Canyon Country Store. There's Mama Cass right there. Steven Tyler with uh, Tommy, the owner, there's the doors. Yeah. Look at that. There's Tommy there. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. My name is Tommy Bina. There are two <laughs> things in this world I don't break it for anybody. My words and something else. <laughs> okay. All right, Tommy. That's right. Now, we're going to go downstairs. You're going to show me something really cool don't downstairs. Worry about it, okay? yeah, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I never worry. So I do acting also. Have you got any roles lately? No, I was in the short film as a winner of the LA Festival. Well, what was this before? Remember when we were down? This is on the cover of an album, right? Yes, so this is Jackie the Shannon. Right. And the name of the album is Laura Canyon. And the song Wait and Sunshine of Your Love uh, is here. Right, and, and uh, this photo was taken right here. Yeah. The, on these this, stairs. This is this wall right here. Wow. And very white. Baby White is a cool singer in the whole album. Very cool. Jackie the Shannon. There we go. Cover the album right there. Ah, it's still the same as last time I was here. I love it. Okay, so this is the room. Mama Cassie lives here. I'm going to turn on the light from the other side. Sure. So Mama Cass used to live in this basement, in this room. Yeah. This is 
the room that Mama has, she lived here. You see this floor? It's more than 100 years old. Right. So it was a window here, and it was a door right here. Yeah. Let's come over. So it was a window here. I blocked the window for earthquake reinforcement. Right, so the window was here? Yes. And the window looked out onto what? Just into the other? Right here. And then, you know, you see these steps? Yeah. They were the... That was a secret passage. Secret passageway into so the store. it was open from the top. It was open from the top. Oh, right, I see. So it's like a, it's like a trap open? Trap yeah, it door? It was open from the top, yes. Right. So she was coming and going. Nobody sees. Mama Cass, but she, did she sneak in or did the owners let her live here at the time? Uh, they let her? No, let, let her. Let but her they weren't allowed yeah, because, to have... No, because it was uh, because oh. of the insurance. Right. It was illegal. Somebody lived in the business. She was using this secret passage, coming and going, and nobody see her. And owner, out of his goodness, he allowed her to stay here for free. That was before she was in the Mamas and the Papas. That's right. Right. So she lived see here. See the rocks next to the steps? Yeah. Those are from the Dance River. You know, Lower Canyon was a river. Right. About 170 years ago, they made the river go underground and still exists. These stones are from that river. So there's a river underground here? It is. Now listen to this part of the song. I see you live on Love Street. The store where the creatures this meet. This is it. Now you see these uh, rocks? Yeah. Those are from that river. You know, the owner, out of his goodness, he allowed many musicians back in 60 live here for free because musicians didn't have money back in 60s, still don't have money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially nowadays with streaming, musicians aren't making any money. So buy your music, people. So, yeah, the, now we're gonna check the bathroom. Bathroom was half shower and half bath. Right, there's a shower, and this is what she used, right, Mama Cass? Right, let me see if there's somebody in there or no. There's nobody here. Yeah, come, come on. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, the, you know how I find it was a shower here? How did you find that out? That's the place to put your soap. Oh yeah, you showed me that before. So I exposed these tiles and it was a shower here for sure. Of course, yeah. That's really cool. This is a shower. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh my stuff's falling off. Hold on one second. Yeah, so that's a shower. What a shower. Some graffiti. But yeah. Sorry, who was here? Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey was here. Mm -hmm. And he said he bought some crunch. He says, "Look, we have this in Canada." And then Jennifer Einstein was uh, she worked here for a very short time. When she hired, then she came and says, "Look, I have to go to audition." And she went to audition, made it really big. Then uh, I came back. Yeah, I think I've heard of her. I think Jennifer Aniston did pretty well. Really cool. All right, thanks, Tommy. You're welcome. That was awesome. I'm gonna go over and take a look at the house now. The gym, gym yeah, works yeah, the house? Yeah, yeah, sure. oh, I'd love to take a look at it. So, what do you think of that? Pretty cool, eh? Seeing downstairs below. I'm walking back upstairs. Now we're gonna go somewhere really cool after I make a purchase here of a crunchy bar, because that's something we have in Canada, and I miss it. It's chocolate with toffee in the middle, so good. I think I need one. You can't miss this place, but look, look what's right. Stop it, motorcycle. Look what's right around the corner. Okay, this is Rothdale Trail. There's a cool little restaurant downstairs. Funky, exclusive. I'm eating crackers and cheese in my car as I drive around. I wouldn't mind stopping there and having to leave, but you know what? I don't have time. Now look what's here. It's dark, unfortunately, but 
Tommy's here at night, so I had to come at night to see my boy Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. There's an exit out there from the store that we've come up before. You walk out here, up this little street, and look what right here. You are going to be very happy you clicked on this video. This here, this house, was Jim Morrison's house right here. Jim and Pamela Corson lived right here. That balcony, it's divided up into apartments. That was theirs right there. Now, I don't know if it's, if it's one big house now, but I know it was divided into apartments at one point. But yeah, right there. Now behind me, you see where that car is right there, not the silver one, the black one? Yeah, you see that. A few years ago, there was somebody called the Hollywood arsonist. About six, seven years ago, roughly, he was going around setting fires all around the Hollywood Hills here. And he set fire to, I think it was a Mazda Miata right out front here. And the house burned. Now it didn't burn to the ground, but there's heavy fire and smoke damage inside and the outside where Jim was, the balcony, that survived. So the exterior survived, but there was heavy damage inside. And there's writing on the wall still from Jim Morrison and his friends that's still in there, still on the wall inside. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that cool? Still inside that building, it's there. Now, as Tommy and Jim were saying, this is what was known as Love Street. This is what Pamela and Jim nicknamed it because they would sit on that balcony and they watch all the hippies go by. So they called it Love Street. And this is the store where the creatures used to meet. Right there. Right there. And actually, there's a sign. I never noticed that before. Very hippie-ish still. You see the peace symbol. We love that. I love that. Look, there's a sign here and a sign there that says Love Street. See what it says. Love Street was written by the doors about Rothdell Trail in the surrounding area in Laurel Canyon where lead singer Jim Morrison and his girlfriend Pamela Corson resided. The song appears on the third album, Waiting for the Sun. The doors are one of the most influential American groups in rock and roll history and embodied the communal and psychedelic spirit of the 1960s that co coalesced in Laurel Canyon. I see you live on Love Street. There's a store where the creatures meet. I wonder what they do in there. Summer Sunday, end of the year. Love Street released on the doors number one album, Waiting for the Sun, on July 3rd, 1968. Scan this with your Shazam app to learn more. Well, that sounds pretty heavy scientific for me. Thanks, Tommy. Forget about it. <laughs> Forget about it. I'll see you soon. See you. Look at that picnic table. Look at that map. Look at all that. Oh, lost cats and dogs. Hmm, that gets me very sad. <sighs> and just up the street was Joni Mitchell's house, the Houdini house, Frank Zappa's house. I believe Frank Zappa's house is, is here at the corner of Lookout Mountain, up there. The ruins of it, it's, called, it's been bulldozed, and, but they haven't built anything there yet. Look out mountain in Laurel Canyon, I believe. Then Mama Cass had a house not too far from you. Neil Young. Everybody lived in Laurel Canyon back then. 60s began here. All that music, here. You love 60s music, right? Come on. Well, that's it. What better place to say peace than at the Laurel Canyon Country Store where all the hippies used to meet. We're all a little hippie-ish, aren't we? Ooh, I'm hippie. Get it? Like hip. I mean, like, it doesn't matter. Okay. Thank you. Peace out. I think Zappa's house there. We just passed it. Sorry, you couldn't really see it. Houdini's mansion there. Uh, I didn't get the camera going fast enough. I'm sorry.